Thank you. That was beautiful worship, Kayleen. Just really sense the love of God because God's love is greater than any love that we can ever experience. His love is greater. So I know today means different things to different people, but however you see Mother's Day today, um, God's love is greater. We have great memories with our children as well. And it was great seeing that clip. That was really funny. I don't know if my tongue is as long as my mum's. I never measured it. But it shows you how busy we are as mothers. And we just wanted to bless the mums today and the ladies today. So as you came in, um, there were flowers there. I hope you got one. I've got one in my jacket. Thank you to Heather and Kayleen for preparing them. And we have a special morning tea as well afterwards. Thank you for the ladies who helped prepare um, the scones for that. And also there's a special gift at the door too. If you just put your hand in and grab something out, just a special gift for the ladies today. We just wanted to bless you today. Okay, so um, today I'm going to be sharing about how we are a new creation. Okay, so... Get used to the technology. All right. Okay. Thank you. I just wanted to thank all the mothers today and thank you to our mums because they gave birth to us and we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for our mothers and for who they are in our lives. So that is the first, first birth that we have is when we are born into this world. So the second birth that we have as believers is when we become Christians and we are called born again. So except a man be born of water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That is, that which is born of the flesh is flesh and the birth gives birth to spirit. So when we are born from our mother, we are born flesh from flesh. But when we are born again, we are born in the spirit. And so our spirit becomes alive. So if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone and the new is here. So I looked at this scripture in a few different um, translations and just gives greater meaning to it. But just remember, the old has gone and the new is here when you become born again. So when you, yes. You are a new person inside. You're not the same anymore when you become born again. You have a new life, a new beginning. So we are changed physically, spiritually, and in our mind as well. So spiritually, we are changed when we are born again because our spirit is activated and we can... Um, talk and commune with God, with Jesus. Before we are born again, our spirit isn't um, activated. We're dead spiritually. And physically, we change too when we are born again. We can, because it's we're not just affected in one way, we're affected in three ways when we are born again. So physically, you can pray for healing. You can start quoting scriptures, pray healing over your body and see healing in your body. And in our mind too, our mind can be renewed when we are born again and we are a new creation as we study God's word. And Joyce, that was beautiful what you shared at communion. And I thought the Holy Spirit, he certainly gets us to work together. So um, just we, when we um, are a new creation, we also experience um, things with other believers and they're really important to our faith and it builds our, us up. The whole body is joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. So it's very important when we become a believer to be part of a body, to be part of a church. And as Joyce was sharing, to, to, um, to serve in the church and to meet together with other believers because it actually does bring change to you. You get to experience the love of Jesus. 
And I know in my life, I really, um, when we first came to the church here, which is 25 years ago, I started going to the ladies group, Pastor Patricia was running it, and I know I got to meet beautiful Christian women in this group, and I learned a lot through sharing the Word of God together, through sharing our life, and they share recipes, and just sharing life together, and met some beautiful Christian women who are uh, fervent prayers and very generous and just beautiful women of God. So it's important when we become be believers, new Christians, to, to meet together with other believers because this is part of us learning to um, our new life to be a new creation. And in the Bible, um, it talks about women who also experienced the love of Jesus. And this brought um, great change in their life. And when we are believers, when we are a new creation, we also experience the love of Jesus. And today, I just really sense the love of Jesus today during worship. And I just pray each one of you was touched by the love of Jesus. Because Jesus, he loves each one of you who is here today. He knows what situation you're in. And I just pray you just felt his touch of love today. Just looking back in the Bible in Luke chapter 8, verse 2 to 3, it talks about um, some women, I'll just read it, and also some women who had been cured of evil spirits and diseases. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had come out. Joanna, the wife of Chusa, the manager of... Herod's household, Susanna and many others, these women were helping to support them out of their own means. So these women were healed um, from physical ailments and also um, demonic things and their lives were transformed. They were new creations and as a result, they started to support the work of Jesus and his disciples. So their whole life was turned around when, when Jesus touched them with, their, with his love. And our lives can be transformed too when we have a touch from the Father's heart. I said earlier that we are changed when we are a new creation physically, um, spiritually and in our mind. Now, in our mind, we are changed a lot when we know the Word of God. Knowing the Word of God is what will bring the change in our lives and help us to live as the new creation that God desires for us. So when we demolish any arguments and any pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God and take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ... So we take captive every thought and make it obedient to Christ. Does your mind sometimes race? Sometimes race maybe with fear or anger or, or jealousy? Well, these aren't what God wants for you. He has another way of thinking. So we need to submit our thoughts to him. And a way to do this is to know what the word of God says. So if your mind is racing with fear, find scriptures about what God says about fear, that he hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of love, power, and a sound mind. So as we memorise the word, that will bring change to our life and our experience, and we can live more as the new creation that he made us to be. But it is a journey. Our identity now, God shows us in the word who we are, and when we know who we are, we can live as a new creation. I'd like, I just thought this might be good for you um, to speak out these scriptures together with me today, because as we say the word of God, our faith grows. As we hear the word and we say it, our faith grows. So let's say these scriptures together. I hope you can read them. Read them together. I am God's child, in John 1, 12. I am complete in Christ, Colossians 2, 10. Now, if you really think about what these scriptures are saying, it will change you. You will walk as the new creation that you are. You are God's child. You aren't what who the world says. You are his child. You are complete in Christ, 
Sometimes you feel like you're not good enough or you lack things, but you are complete in Christ. This is what Jesus says about you. So claim these scriptures for yourself and you will walk as the new creation that you are. Now, look, and also just referring to the identity in Genesis, it, the Bible says about God's creation, and he created Adam and Eve, a man and a woman, and that's how God sees us. And he's our creator, so he knows who we are. So if you want to know more about it, just look at the Bible. So here's another couple of scriptures. Let's um, repeat them together. I am free from condemnation, Romans 8, 1 to 2. I have not been given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7. As we say these things, believe them. May your faith rise up and may you know them in your heart and in your mind and you'll walk as a new creation. Without fear, without condemnation. If you feel condemnation and if you've asked for forgiveness for your sins, it's not the Lord speaking to you. You need to be able to discern what, where your thoughts are coming from, and that's not from the Lord. So you dispel it with the word of God, knowing who you are as a new creation. Let's repeat these together too. I cannot be separated from the love of God, Romans 8, 35, and I am complete in Christ, Colossians 2, verse 10. Just let that sink into your mind and your spirit. So when you become a new creation, it's really important to study the Word of God. And some things that you may have believed before aren't the way that Jesus sees them. For example, if you... Um, suffer from jealousy or like it was really good what um, Elizabeth was sharing today. Sometimes we can cover what other people have, but because we do that, then we don't live in the new creation life. The Lord doesn't want us to be like that. He wants us to be content with what we have and not looking at others. He wants us to be content and blessed with what we have. Don't look around what others have. That's not from the Lord. And I just wanted to share this verse because I thought there may be things that the Lord can um, show us that are stopping us from walking in our new creation reality. So if everyone, I'll just read this verse and if everyone will close their eyes and let the Lord speak to them, there may be something that is stopping you walking in the fullness of all that Jesus has for you. So search us, O Lord, and know our hearts. Test us and know our anxious thoughts to see if there's any offensive way in us and lead us in the way everlasting. Because we want to walk in the freedom and in everything that Jesus has for us. We don't want to miss out on anything. We want the fullness of being a new creation. So let's give our hearts and our minds to Jesus. Let's submit to him so we can walk in the freedom that he promises us. So let's just close our eyes now and let the Lord speak to us. Hey, dear Lord, we just submit these things to you, dear Jesus. Just continue to renew our mind, Lord, and 
continue to give us experiences of your love, your great love for us, Lord. May we walk in greater freedom as the new creation that you have made us to be. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen.